Do you know why Ghent is called Europe's best kept secret? No. This is why. The answer is because of the Ghent Lighting Strategy. And today I will try to explain you in a few words how the city of Ghent is using light as a tool to improve the quality of life and well-being in the city. The Ghent Lighting Strategy can be summarized in four keywords. Tailor-made, partnership, sustainability, and there's also social aspect. We started the project with a master plan for the city center. And for all components of that master plan, uh, lighting concepts has been developed and uh, guidelines formulated. And I will show you some of these components. Some parts of the city, some places are protected by UNESCO as World Heritage. And this is the case for the Belfry. Uh, at nightfall, because they are illuminated, they are also very important for the nocturnal landscape. Monuments also play a very important role. Here you see one facade of town hall, and our light designer has worked here in his concept with three types of equipment. There are projectors integrated, uplighters integrated in the ground, giving a shaving light on the facade itself. There is add some light from the opposite buildings, lighting up the upper part of the building and the roof. And there are small projectors integrated in the facade for the fragile um, sculptures. Ghent is very lucky to have a lot of canals and rivers and water surfaces because they created an enchanting reflection of the lighted monuments. Big squares are usually used for big events, large-scale events, but thanks to the light, they also have in the evening a very pleasant atmosphere and they are oasis of rest. In this little square in the city center, we have chosen to light these two little monuments, rather than the big uh, courthouse, who is so dominant during the day. Shopping street, commercial streets are lit up by uh, uplighters, who are giving um, also a shaving light on the facade. And by that way, the street itself is lighted in an indirect way, just like you're doing sometimes in your living room. This lighting stops normally at midnight. This is a residential street with a new lighting. The projectors are integrated on the facade itself with a small flat glass, no glare, and warm white light, 3,000 degrees Kelvin. So we have a perfect color, color rendering and very good visibility. Of course, the city cannot do that all by themselves. Therefore, we are cooperating with private owners of monuments as here an example, uh, the concert hall on the Kouter in Ghent, and this building of the university, uh, a former uh, monastery. Um, we work on that way that uh, the lighting concept is paid and ordered by the city and is made by the light designer. The realization is paid by the owner, and afterwards the city takes over the installation and pays for energy and for maintenance. Sustainability. The environmental aspects of the lighting strategy are very important and may be much more visible than, than the visible uh, aspects that you see during the day. They are less known. The energy saving of uh, the lighting strategy since we started in 1998, the energy use has declined with approximately 17%. Although the city is growing, and we are lighting up more and more buildings. The ugly yellow light, we are transforming and replacing with warm white light, but all over the city we are reducing the energy levels. This warm white light has a very much better color rendering. In parks, we only lit the main walkways, no longer all parts in the park and we try to avoid, we are working with indirect lighting also, but we try to avoid to bring 
uh, light in the crowns of the trees. So keeping rest in the park. We are using new energy sources like LED for saving energy. This is a railway bridge near the harbor where also pedestrians can cross the river or the canal. And here we have used LED as architecture lighting and functional lighting at the same time. Reducing light nuisance and light pollution, very important. This uh, light point uh, is disturbing your view and your perception of the St. Jacob's Church. When you don't have that light, that's the, the image you have, that's what you see, much better. And there's also a social aspect. We started with the lighting strategy in the city center, but now we are uh, expanding this project to the whole city and even to the harbor area. In the districts, this is an example of the 19th century, uh, we are using the same principles as used in the city center. This is a residential street in the 19th, 19th century uh, uh, district, Brugge Port. And the former schoolyard and school building are transformed into a communal center, a district center, and the schoolyard transformed into a park. And here we are illuminating the main building on the same way as we are lighting monuments in the city center. So we try to fortify the identity of this district and making people proud that they are living in this district. But by the way, if you want to know more about the Ghent Lighting Strategy, visit the city, but uh, act like Cinderella. Do it before midnight, when the clock strikes 12, monument lighting uh, disappears and functional lighting takes over. Thank you.